Hello friends, welcome to Logic Key. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can traverse a linked list. This is part 2 of linked list series. Let's first discuss what is our goal or let's say what is our design specification. So first thing is we need to create a linked list and second is we need to traverse that linked list. What is traversal? We are going to see soon. So firstly, let's concentrate on we need to create a linked list. Just a linked list you can see here in this diagram. So what is that one thing which is very important in linked list? It's the head. So if you know the head, you will be able to have the complete linked list with you. We'll see how very soon. But in the linked list, the most important thing is head. And that's how we are creating this class. See this first definition class linked list and in its constructor we are creating an instance variable as head so self dot head and we are initializing it with none second thing is linked list is a chain of node and in each node you have data and the reference to the next node so that's why I see the second class class node and in its constructor We'll always pass the data. Suppose you want to store 10, 20, 30, 40. You'll pass this data whenever you want to create a new node. And then we have two instance variables here. First is data in which we'll store the data coming from the user. And the next which initially we keep it as none. So clear with the fact that we have created two classes linked list and node. Linked list would initially has just the variable head. And we'll soon be implementing all the operations in linked list class because ultimately we need to perform operations on linked list. So, in, so currently we just have head. So that is how we have created two classes, linked list and node. This is the usage of it. So once you have written those constructors, now let's use it. See in the very first line, we are calling the constructor of linked list. Linked list and parenthesis. This calls the constructor means the init method. So what was there in the init method of linked list? It was creating an instance variable as head having none in it. And the reference is stored in LL. Okay, so this is our linked list. Similarly, I have called the constructor of node class four times. Firstly, with the data 10, 20, then 30, then 40. So see, first node assigns node 10. So what it is going to do, it is going to create uh, an instance of node class in which 10 is the data and is there in the variable next. Just like the first node, we have created another node. Um, how we are creating it? Node and we are passing 20 as the data. What it will do, it will call the constructor of node class. What that constructor is going to do? In the variable data, it is going to put 20. In the next variable, it is going to keep none initially. Similarly, we have created in total four instances of node class with the data 10, 20, 30 and 40. You can see here what would have been happening in the memory. Let's suppose the first node was stored at 1000, second at 2000, third 3000, four at 4000 in memory. So these are the addresses. Now see this first line. LL.head assigns first node. So what is first node? It is the reference to this node which is 1000. This 1000 will store in LL.head. So instead of none, instead of this none, what we are going to store here? 1000. Okay. So now this head is pointing to this node. Let's see next line. First node dot next assign second node. So second node is 2000. 2000 we are going to store here. Thus now it points to 2000. Again second node dot next equals to third node. So you can guess here. Here you will have 3000. And then here you will have 4000. So that's how you have created a linked list. Firstly, you created four nodes and then you chained all of these together to form a linked list. So now you have a linked list. Next thing is traversal of it. So what it is? Traversal means going through all the nodes from first node to the last node of the linked list. 
So here we are going to do a traversal of linked list and we'll print all the nodes one by one. Let's focus on the very first line. Temp assigns head. Temp must be having 1000 now. Now if you'll print temp.data, what it is going to print? Data which is stored at the reference of 1000. This is 10. Now see the next line. In the next line what I'm doing is temp assigns temp.next. So what is there in temp.next? Temp is currently 1000. and 1000 the node has 2000 in the next. Here we have 2000. So what is that data? What is the data stored now at temp.data? See now we are talking about this node. So at this node in data you have 20. So what it is going to print? 20. Again you will do temp assigns temp.next. So currently in temp you have 2000 and in temp.next you have 3000. So this 3000 now becomes the new temp. You will print whatever data is there at 3000 which is 30. So you will print 30 then. And this will continue till you get temp as none. So in the very next step when you will do temp assigns temp.next, temp.next is going to be none. So there is no further nodes we need to go to and that becomes the end. You can see uh, here we are going to use some type of loop where every time we are changing temp to temp.next. So whatever we saw in the previous slide, if we if we write its code, we can write it as so this is our definition of print list. Here we are taking self.head in temp variable and we are running a loop while temp. So till we don't get none in temp, we'll continue this loop. Every time we are printing temp.data and then we are assigning temp as temp.next. So that's how we are moving from one node to the another. So in total, whatever we discussed in this tutorial, what we did, firstly, we created class linked list and class node. And we created a linked list and then we tried to create four nodes. Then we tried to link them to each other to form a linked list. And finally, once we have the linked list, next thing is we wanted to do the traversal. So here you can see in the link list I have put the I have put the definition of print list method. At the left hand side I have written the classes and at the right hand side you can see how we have used this link list and node class. So if you see the very last line what we have done ll dot print list and what would be the output of it? 10, 20, 30 and 40. You can check the description box to get the code as well. Thank you so much guys for tuning into Logic Heap. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.